How's it going guys? What I wanted to do in this video is actually talk to you a little bit about automated reports within uh, Metasys MUI from Johnson Controls. Uh, what you will have on the upper right corner of your screen is a uh, the skinny snowman as I've heard it called uh, on several occasions. Uh, and when you click that, it's going to bring you up this menu. And one of the things that you will have as far as your options is going to be advanced search and reporting. And once we click into that, it is going to give us this screen where we can build our report. Now, one of the things that you will note is you can select various spaces and equipment. Just for example, if I were to do a search here uh, simply pulling up metering or whatever uh, that is a uh, one of the tools that we have because we do have a space set up just for our meters and that way I can actually go in and search for things within it another way of building your report is using the equipment definitions uh, as well you can go into any of the equipment definitions you have built for your site and pull information from there uh, there again I'm just going to th throw a quick example out there uh, one of the things that uh, I recently talked about in an article that I wrote on my website at systemcontroltech.net was the uh, meters that we have the Onicon flow meters and uh, for example uh, what I have done for those is I have got a uh, equipment definition built just for the Onicon meters, the Onicon BTU meters. Uh, you can see that right there. And once I select the equipment definition for that, I'm going to go ahead and close this metering out because it's going to cause a little bit of conflict and I will not be able to see the point that I want. And I can also add a couple of additional uh, items as well. I can select the object type uh, as far as whether or not it is an alarm extension. I can select analog value and analog input. There's just a lot that you can do with these various reports. Okay, There's a ton of information out there and I'm just going to grab one here. I'm just going to throw one out there real quick just to show you some of the features that you can do. Uh, another thing you can do is you can actually go into your network tree and actually pull over uh, individual points from your network. You can just drop down here and simply add a particular point. I'm just grabbing stuff at random here, guys, so just bear with me. Um, for example, if I wanted to build a, re a report for the zone temp in a certain building, I can simply go over here and highlight the point that I want and pull it over. And then if I hit save, that would add that to my list. But again, back to the equipment definitions thing. You know, there again, I've got selected for Onicon BTU meters. I've got an analog value. And if I just hit search right here, what it's going to do is it's going to go out to all of the devices that were created using that equipment definition and it's going to grab that value. It's going to grab the analog value that I was wanting and of course uh, you know there again it's just a generic value that I threw in there and it popped in a few points for us here. It's going to give me some information about those points. Uh, it's going to give me the option of selecting those. If I want to add any points to my uh, report. I can simply go in and highlight that and of course it selected all of those for me. I can also go back and edit my filters a little bit. For example, if I wanted to add additional object types, I can simply go into here. I'm just going to grab a analog input uh, just you know as well. Just added that to it and I hit search again and it's going to go back out to everything associated with that and you can see here it grabbed many more values 
and it's got energy rate, just different things in there. And there again, guys, this is extremely crude as far as what I'm pulling up. If I wanted to sort them based upon the units, for example, I can simply hit units. You can see it grouped all of the BTUs together, the BTUs per hour, uh, GPM, for example, if I wanted a report just showing GPM, uh, and again, you can use this for electric metering. There's a lot that you can do with this. But what I'm going to do is simply just grab a few of these. I'm just going to grab these total multiplier. Um, well, let's get something else. Those numbers are a little, a little high for what we want. I'm just going to grab a couple of these lower ones here, uh, these lower value numbers just to kind of make things look a little cleaner and there again this is just a value within the meter this is not necessarily the uh, total BTU usage of these meters but now that I've got those selected what I can do is go up here to actions and I can create a report uh, you know if I wanted to do a command if this was all a set point value or something like that and I wanted to do a bulk command I could do that uh, there again there's a lot of features of this system that you can use okay but right now what I want to do is simply create a report if I'm trying to dig in these values trying to uh, you know build a an automated reporting system for utility usage I can simply do that here I can set it up to where uh, the report type uh, this is something if you're wanting to know the present value of something uh, you would select that here or if you're wanting trend history uh, now that it's going to be heavily dependent on the type of trend that you have on the points for example if you are doing uh, zone temp trends and things like that you're going to need to make sure that your trends are set up properly to record the information uh, for as uh, for the time period that you're wanting and if you're not setting your trends up properly that information will roll off and your report will not be able to have it as part of it uh, I can do alarms I can do audits there's just a lot that I can do I'm just going to select present value I can set this to repeat daily weekly uh, monthly yearly just whatever and I, there's several options that I can do with this. And since I'm looking at, uh, you know, yesterday for whatever reason, if you want to set a custom date range, if you're looking for trends, for example, if I wanted to go to trends, I can then go in and set a custom range, or I can do whatever it is that I want. Okay, I can select between a PDF as well as a CSV file and there are a lot of functions that I can do to automate a lot of this and that's kind of the key automating reports is where things come in very handy uh, if this is a report that I wanted to send out monthly I can select monthly I can tell it exactly when I want it to send that report out I can also select how many occurrences like if I only want to track information for a couple of months on something uh, I can select all of that from here and I can have the option of downloading that information immediately I can also uh, send it to particular email addresses for example if there are people that need information certain uh, data out of the system uh, for example they you know I talk about in the article on my website at systemcontroltech.net uh, you know there is uh, one, uh, some of the reports that we have that we actually have them set up to automatically email out the data to specific people people that need that information for utility tracking for billing purposes and that sort of thing and that way instead of us having to physically go and read a meter and write that down and type up some kind of a document we let the technology work for us and I can do that from here so I'm just going to select download immediately just to show you guys a test uh, just and I'm going to change this to present value because if I put trending there it, it's not really going to give me uh, what we think because these points do not have trends on them not these particular points that we have selected and now I need to name it and I can name this whatever I want and I'm just going to call it test I don't want to save it because there again I'm just using this as an example and I'm going to hit create okay uh, and it is going to create the report for me and after it creates the report what it will do is it will pop up 
the window where it has downloaded uh, the file. Now I selected this as a PDF, so we're going to go ahead and open this file just to take a quick look at it to see what we have. And it just takes a moment for this to populate. Of course, uh, this you can see typically how it will display. And this is where your custom naming and things like that will uh, come into play. For example, if I was using the total BTU usage on this particular report, I would want to make sure that my object name matched what I needed it to be. That way it's a little bit uh, easier to identify. Of course it will tell you the type of input it is. You can see here it's an N2 analog input uh, and it gives me the present value of those. And there again guys if I needed to send this out for tracking purposes uh, this can come in very handy. Another way that you can use this information depending on your uh, organization's needs is you can also have it to export it as a CSV file. So let's go ahead and do that and see what that looks like. Once I select the format as CSV it's going to pop up and download it as uh, something I can open up in Excel. And once I open it in Excel you can see here is similar information here but if I needed to add in calculations if I needed to do some other things with that then uh, I will have that opportunity right here you know of course uh, does the naming it's very similar uh, for example if I wanted to do a totalization of various buildings you know I could literally go in here and do an auto sum uh, now of course these uh, particular values since they are selected to have a display text it's not going to give me the true number unless I go in and delete that off however you can go into your system and simply turn off that state text for these particular values and when this populates into your system into Excel it will automatically be populated as a value instead of uh, being basically like text the way that it is here or you can go in and manually remove that but there again guys if the name of the game is keeping it simple then what we would do is simply go within Metasys and remove the uh, the the name the state text that we have on these and you can see there it doesn't take me very long to delete these out like this however if this is going to be a report that you would be using regularly that you would be running regularly I would highly suggest that you just go in there and have it to automatically uh, or have your state text set to nothing and then that way it would automatically populate it in Excel as a number value that you could use for calculations and other things like that. And we do have some reports set up for that specific purpose. And that's exactly what I did is I went in and removed the state text on those to get just the pure number. That way uh, we are able to manipulate the numbers. We're able to take th uh, those numbers and information and do some calculations and uh, you know very easily of course I'm not going to save this but that's just a couple of examples of what you can do and then I'm just going to close this out but and as I would mentioned earlier uh, these the custom reporting can make your life much easier um, you know we do have reports set up for various things I'm not going to show you all of those but it would be underneath this tab here if I had saved that as a uh, regular report that's something that I can go back into and I can edit and make changes to those reports and build them out however I would need them. But guys this is just a quick video that I wanted to do on uh, touching on custom reporting. It would be virtually impossible to give you all of the details about this feature because there is so much that it can be used for. Uh, this is just something that uh, one of the things that we use it for that I thought I would share with you all. Uh, but guys, uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, just leave them down below. And also be sure to visit my website at systemcontroltech.net. Thanks for watching. Check out all of the links down in the description, and we will see you next time.